I love her. If mm. you're watching this, call me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Georgie Wright and I'm here with Alec Benjamin. How are we? I'm good. How, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. good. You're selling out shows now. You have had amazing success in the past year. You know, Billy I just covered you. Yeah, that Before, was cool. Yeah, how was that? It was dope. Was I woke up in the morning and I had like 50,000 new followers. And I was like, what happened? And it was just like, oh, Billie Eilish covered your song. I'm like, what? That song, The Water Fountain, that she covered, I wrote um, while I was signed to a different record label a while mm. ago, and then I got dropped. And um, I didn't own that master, but I put it out anyways, and she found it because it got big on this app called Musical.ly. Um, I think when she was oh, younger, yeah. maybe she used it or she found it on YouTube or whatever. And so I met her at um, a show that she did in 2017, and she was like, yo, I love that song, The Water Fountain. And then when I re-released it, she covered it the same day. Hey. So it was cool, yeah. All of your songs have really great stories that's sort of part of how you write songs. Yeah. What made you want to write in that way? I got started making music because um, music is like a vehicle to express some of my ideas. And I think the most effective way to communicate a message is through a story because I think like language is not perfect, you know? You're using words, which is something that we made up, to communicate a feeling which is very abstract, you know? So oftentimes you can use words and people may not know exactly what you're saying, you know? Words mean different things to different people. And so I think it's like the difference between saying, telling so it's the difference between telling somebody something and showing them something. And I think showing something is, is the most powerful way to do it. Growing up, what sort of stories, books, films had a massive impact on you? My favorite movie is Forrest Gump. You know, it's not, it's not, some of my favorite movies aren't the ones that you can watch over and over again because I think that they're, they're very dense mm -hmm. as far as like, there's like a lot of information in there. And I like the movie Her with Joaquin Phoenix. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and really Scarlett. Cool. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Yo, she, I love her. If mm. you're watching this, call me. <laughs> She's getting married. <laughs> but she, even in that, even in that movie, it was just her voice, and I was like, man, she's cool. If there is AI in the future that we do uh, live with, I hope it sounds like her. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. You tweeted Elon Musk about. I did, yeah. A sustainable tour then. Yeah, I did. And he tweeted back. He did, yeah. So I feel like I've done my part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I just people Up keep asking you. me like, what do I do? Um, you know, what's what's like my contribution to cleaning up the environment? Mm -hmm. And to that, my answer is, um, I don't have an answer. And so, I, I also feel bad because I'm trying to reconcile the way I live my life with how I feel about the, the planet, and mm -hmm. I like the planet. But at the same time, you know, I don't feel like tour buses are really doing the the world a, a, or like you know the environment a, a, a service. So. I thought it'd be a good idea if he made like an electric tour bus. I don't, I don't suppose there's a huge market for it, but if he does it, um, then you know I want a percentage. And yeah. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. It would be Absolutely. great if he did. I feel like there's, you know, it's more useful of an invention than flamethrowers, which was his last. No, that was thing. pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> there's a large market True. for yeah. those. <laughs> yeah. True, you're right.